Ew. You think like that? Are you okay? What is going on, you guys? And welcome on another episode today. If you're joining for the very first time, thank you so much for tuning in. In this video, we are going to be talking about this lady who made a video about the Risa Tisa story. If you don't know Risa Tisa, she is the woman currently going viral all over the world because I believe people all over the world are literally listening to this because I've seen so many stitch on a video. Is the lady currently going viral talking about how she married a pathological liar? And everybody in the world is literally watching to know who they have. Did Risa Tisa married? This woman is a very good narrator. I feel like you just have to give that to her. She narrated this story so well that even while listening to her, you can easily picture how the situation was. She narrated it so well. There is this creator on TikTok talking about how it is dumb of Risa. I've thought that that man is going to love her because she does not represent the beauty standard. It is her fault for believing that a six feet man who is a VP, he lied about being a VP by the way, who is a VP is going to look at our side like she was dumb she wasn't being real with herself a video is very jarring this is the reason why i want you guys to listen to it a video is getting a lot of people pissed and they are not here for it and they are dragging her by the tail without wasting much time let's get into it and let's hear from the horse's mouth because risa tisa is not the typical tiktok person that the algorithm pushes right she's not the the typical she doesn't have the look that most people that you see like at See, a lot of times the reason that we can't have real conversations here on TikTok or any other social media when we're black people is because people just want to fight. Like, they pretend that they're stupid. They get intellectually stupid when they want to be offended about something. Now, I've said that Risa Tisa and the story about who the F did I marry, when I looked at the man, Legion, when we see what he looks like, now, he's 6'5", she said, right? Or 6'4". He's a vice president of a company. Um, he likes to dress well. He has that look of a boy, of a dude that like to be a pretty boy, right? Risa Tisa does not look like the, uh, the arm candy that he would have on him. And when I made a video just saying that as women, we need to really be aware of these men that won't trophy women. If, if a man is like that guy on, what is it? Married at first sight. And he's a little pretty boy with the little part in his head and stuff. If he is that type of dude, he most likely is not going to be wanting to be with a plus size woman, no matter how beautiful she is. He's probably not going to want to be with a dark skinned sister, no matter how beautiful she is. He's probably not going to want to be with a short woman like me, no matter how beautiful she may be. There is a certain look and a certain type. There's a, there's a, there are pretty boys, there are fuck boys, and there are trophy wives. There are Instagram models and I can't, we can't even have a serious conversation about that to talk to younger women to let them know that most likely if you get with a man that traditionally in the black community that you don't look as good or five times better than, you're going to most likely run into some problems. We've already had the conversation about, we had this conversation on my page about good looking men with ugly women and how the men have to act so ugly with you because they want their woman to know i'm not trying to get with her and she's looking all like oh, i know they probably looking at me because i'm not as good looking as he is but we can't have an honest conversation about that because he not a pretty boy to me she looks just as good as him she does not comparably look like the type of woman that a six four man with a good job, vice president of a major company would be with. And even when you look at her content on her page, you can see that she is one of those women that is looking for some really beautiful man instead of just either being happy with herself or just finding a reason. Woman. Find a man that look like your daddy. If your daddy don't look like Elder Barge, don't get with Elder Barge. Am I saying that Legion looks like Elder Barge? No. But I'm trying to make this point in a video that I made. And all the women that look like Risa Tisa are all mad. He just ain't average to me. I'm not trying to insult you because it's not about you and what you look like. 
I am saying to younger women, if you get with a man that is a pretty boy, you better make sure that you are a pretty girl or you're going to end up in a situation like this where a man can look at you and say, hmm, I look better than her or she think I look better than her. And so therefore, I'm going to run game on her. And yes, I know that Legion turned out to be a liar. He wasn't a VP. Probably about the only thing was is that he was tall and good looking to her. Is he my type? No. First of all, I don't like tall guys. So if y'all thinking that I'm, you act like he's just so cute and she's so ugly. I'm saying that they don't look, look wise, they not equally yoked. And she should have thought, hmm, this man had just showed up with all of this. I got to think twice. And if she didn't, and if she didn't think that, women from here on out, start looking and thinking twice. That's my point. Now, here is a content creator that basically said what I said. And she had to try to, we have to do all this clarification when we pretend as black people that we're intellectually stupid. I said not long ago about somebody uh, that men want to get with the light skin, curly hair. Why you have to say light skin, curly hair? Because we know in the black community, it's just like when you say, you, you go over to Big Mama's house and she always going to have some cornbread and bre- beans on the on the stove. Why you say that all grandmamas have cornbread and beans on the stove? Let's not be intellectually stupid so that we can have a real conversation so that other women, younger women, can know how to protect themselves from a legion. What do you guys think about what this woman said? Remember that Risa did the 50-part series of how she married a pathological liar, the traumas that she had to deal with being with that man. A 50-freaking-part series. And the only thing that this woman was more concerned about is a look Risa is not even ugly i don't know if you guys have seen a picture i'll put it on the screen and this video is currently going viral and people are like are you sure you saw the same legion that we saw that was exposed on tiktok are you sure you're talking about this same man are you saying that risa is not deserving to be with a six feet tall vp man because she's not as beautiful as the man like it's so freaking annoying people are not having it with her and they are literally dragging her before we come back to check out more comments let's get into what the people have to say about this woman's take on risa's look risa tisa does not look like the uh, the arm candy that he would have on him loud and so fucking wrong there's this particular group of women on TikTok that took the 50 parts of what Risa posted and choose to go about it well. She's not like, you know, the typical beauty standard. So I could understand why somebody would do this to her. And even in her comments, people are saying really disgusting stuff like, oh, well, you're saying he's an attractive man. He's six five. He dresses well. He's the VP of a company. What could you possibly think that he would want with a woman like you? And those comments piss me clean off because there is nothing wrong with risa she is a beautiful plus size woman believe it or not she is somebody's type she is a lot of people's types now just because she may not fit your particular beauty standard does not mean that she doesn't fit somebody else's it's unfortunate what happened to her very unfortunate it is not her fault either either and you cannot put that on her beauty or how she looks legion is a freaking pathological liar that's the focus of the story like, after everything she's been through, you would rather focus on how she looks in society and how she's perceived in society. Meanwhile, let's be freaking for real. And let's not forget that the most beautiful women are out here still getting dog, cheated on, and getting treated like absolute. How dare you compare that woman's beauty to what the fuck that man has? So, are you implying know your role in society? Are you telling me that I have to be conscious of my role in society? I'm just saying that not all men want a tall, skinny woman walking next to them. I personally know a lot of men who actually prefer bigger women. Bigger women bring something of value to the table that skinnier women probably usually don't to men. Whether it is a good home-cooked meal consistently or just warmer hugs at night. Like, you don't know. Like, mind your fucking business and listen to the story. Risa Tisa does not look like the, uh, the arm candy that he would have on him. Then why don't you take his pathologically lying ass off of everyone's hands and you deal with it? What does Risa Tisa's look have to do with how that man treated her? How he is a pathological liar? How he is literally insane? Eye candy? Arm candy? Have you seen him? You are sounding like a true pick me right now. You must want him to find your page and scoop you the fuck up so you can have a 50 part story to tell. 
girl if he find you just say that but you ain't gotta tear down Reese. he said she's a beautiful woman plus size and all because her size ain't got nothing to do with it you look foolish ma'am we over here sympathizing with Reese because she had to deal with that mess for however long she dealt with it but you over here talking about some well if he's the type that girl sh shut up I swear it's always that one or two pick me woman that want to come on here and defend a man and say, well, this man is this and this man is that. And Reese's Teacher don't even look. Well, what do you look like, ma'am? How do you view yourself, ma'am? You think that man going to come and swoop your... You know he probably will because of how foolish you think. I hope you are next. That Risa Tisa and the story about who the F did I marry, when I looked at the... Candace, shut your mouth now. Do it immediately. You're the only person out of millions that I have seen, or at least that has been on my For You page, that is talking about Reese's physical characteristics. Grow up. Tonight. If you don't stop, you're going to turn into Wendy Williams. You are. And people are going to be laughing at you because you have the bowl filter on and you still look 68 years old. There ain't nothing wrong with being 68, but there damn sure is something wrong with being 68 and messy. This is messy. This is disgusting. This is some shallow shit. Don't nobody give a fuck about what it takes to be a trophy wife. Nobody has cared since 1998. You are behind. And I want you to stop tonight, as I have said. I want you to get off the internet and I want you to go be successful because this is not success. This is how you get karma. Because why are you talking about that lady's physical appearances and saying she not arm candy? Who the fuck are you? What the fuck do you look like in person? If I were to sneak up on you, are you going to scare me or am I going to scare you? Risa Tisa does not look like that the arm candy that he would have on him. Do we all see the same Legion or is there a, a, a different legion running around on tiktok i just want to i watched this video a few times to to comprehend i don't like to you know make videos just to respond i like to comprehend as best as i can i'm grown enough to know that there are a lot of people with this viewpoint i am grown enough to know that there are a lot of men with this viewpoint i'm grown enough to know that there's a lot of women with this viewpoint because you see it online all the time you will see women tear down men that are with women that they don't find attractive like oh my god you're such and such and you with that there are men that will tear down women and other brothers oh my god you know you such and such and you dating her or, oh my god she look good and why are you dating him for example beyonce and jay-z beyonce's fine as hell a lot of people don't find jay-z physically attractive they eat her ass up all the time because of that remember that reference beyonce and jay-z and i'm gonna give a few more it's going to tie together i promise so by your theory, when Risa Tisa seen his accolades on paper before she physically seen him or not on paper, on the Internet, whatever the case may be, should she have said, you know, he is a VP. He makes this. He does that. He does this. He looks like this. He dresses like this. I'm going to walk away because that's a red flag, because what does he want with me? Was she supposed to think that she was less deserving of a man with those same qualities because she does not fit societal norms? um view of beauty she doesn't fit into the beauty standard of this fucked up ass society was she supposed to just be like nah let me go find somebody that's less accomplished whatever the case may be when you said he he, he looked like the pretty boy it's a pretty boy i mean dude got psoriasis at a beard but anyway i really want to know what you would do if a man pulled up to you pulled up on you whatever fine as hell six six basketball store or a multi-million dollar uh, self-made man had his own business COO CEO the founder it don't matter he pulled up on you and you get to know him and you know his qualifications and everything else you being you okay would you say hell no nah. that's a red flag because you're x y and z you're above me you deserve a light-skinned woman that's fit that wears real hair doesn't wear braids or would you do that would you think that you're not deserving of a man like that would you walk away by theory that's what's supposed to happen right like you're not the typical arm candy of the six six guy multi-million dollar company because let's let's be real dark-skinned women 
have never been the beauty standard. Fetishized, yes, but never been the beauty standard. Now let's tap into the arm candy thing. Being arm candy has never, ever, ever, ever stopped anybody from being fucked over. It has never, you know, it, it was never a safe haven from infidelity. It was never a safe haven from manipulation. It was never a safe haven for mental, physical, and emotional abuse. Never. Once again, Jay-Z and Beyonce, he cheated on Beyonce. Okay? Eric Benet cheated on Holly Berry. This is all alleged, but cheated on Holly Berry. And Eric Benet is gorgeous, just like Holly Berry. Tony Parker cheated on Eva Lingard child kevin hart not his first wife but his second the tall light-skinned woman with the body and the model legs and everything else he cheated on her Udica, uduka whatever cheated on nia long nia long is fine so even if you are the arm candy it doesn't matter it's character based it's character based and i don't think that people aren't able to have an honest conversation like this we know these views exist but when they come from women that solidify one of our oppressors viewpoints and talking points it's kind of like huh men scream this from the top of their lungs you know i'm this successful so i deserve a woman that look like this and can do this and will do this da, da, da. and then you have another woman run behind them that does not fit the beauty standard not saying you're ugly but you don't fit the beauty standard just like i don't either i know that but hey it's some motherfuckers that think i'm ugly as hell and it's some motherfuckers that think i'm fine as fuck me personally i think i, I think i'm doing a little I'm doing a little something and i would hope that you think you are beautiful too and that you deserve a man with those same accolades just like risa tisa regardless of whatever beauty standard she falls under deserves the same thing if that's what she attracts if that's what her mental in her emotional state attracts out of her telling her story to put it out there and hopefully a woman hears her story and sees a similarity in her own relationship and be like hey hold on this is sounding too familiar let me start asking questions this is what y'all going after when she heard that he was a vp and he was making all this money she should have known because she's not the typical woman that's supposed to be on his arm that's disgusting come on yo we can have honest conversations but shouldn't the conversation be why is that still a thing in 2024 because of regardless of what you look like you are still liable and still able to be completely and royally fucked over so i'm gonna say that's the post a long ass post but it is the post indeed and legion when we see what he looks like now he's six y'all i fear she's trying to say legion is a pretty boy <laughs> so i'm just scrolling tiktok i'm already getting ate up for my previous post everybody is on my ass okay i'm already fighting for my life in these comments because people are so fucking dumb and they don't want to understand the point that i was making that even if danny didn't expose this damn lady I mean, this damn man, he's so bitchy. I, I, fuck. Um, even if Danny didn't expose this damn man, somebody was going to expose this damn man. I'm already fighting for my life. And then I'm just scrolling TikTok. Why does this lady say that basically Legion is above Risa's level? I don't know what picture of this man she saw. She's talking about he's 6'5". He's 6'5", but looks fucking disgusting. This man looks like the corniest of the corn boss. He looks like he was a nerd in high school. I would equate him to a school shooter if I were to describe him. He looks like a school shooter. Why on fucking earth are we sitting here saying that Risa should have known because this man was out of her league? Are we? I don't think we're looking at the same picture, I fear legion needs to pledge allegiance to the motherfucking flag because he looks a fucking mess like are we <laughs> some of y'all foul though in her comments y'all like no i think they're equal on the looks level because legion look a mess like that look no <laughs> y'all are foul. i don't think she looks a mess i think y'all are just kind of being biased because she's a plus size woman um but yeah legion he looks a mess yeah i don't know guys i think i'm ready for this story to be over because i think i'm starting to see a whole bunch of crazy ass takes and I, um, yeah, I just can't, I can't do it no more. TikTok or any other social media when we're black people is because people just want to fight.
Okay, go back and listen to that whole thing. But I just want to say this. We knew that the superficial conversation was coming, right? We knew that was going to come. But here they are. Nevertheless, here they are. So she said that we as a black community will know how to have the intellectual conversations. We like to play dumb. Here's the thing. The conversation that you are having is not intellectual. It is superficial. Okay. In my book, I'm going to speak that. And in my opinion, you can't sit and have a conversation and make a statement uh, that uh, get with somebody who look like your daddy. What? And you say that's a that's an intellectual conversation? No, baby, that's a superficial conversation because you're basically saying that you know the typical man wants this. Yes, the typical man may want a certain look. But if you're going to do the math and you're going to say the typical man wants a, on, on his arm candy, not every man is looking for an arm candy, even even at that level. OK, so my thing is, if you're going to do the typical statement, then typically look in to see women that are manipulated, lied to, cheated on all of all of the above. And no matter what they look like. Do that math because the math that you're doing is not mathing, okay? Any woman can be manipulated the way she was manipulated, okay? The only reason why you're making a statement is because, because Risa Tisa is plus size. But if she wasn't, then we wouldn't even be having this conversation. So that conversation, our intellect is superficial. Carry on. Risa Tisa does not look like that the arm candy that he would have on him. Hey guys, real quick, I'm gonna just jump into it. Um, go check out that video if you haven't. If you don't have time or just don't want to, basically she was saying that Risa Tisa should have known um, that she was getting played because she is not attractive enough for a six four six five um, president of a company who is a pretty boy to like her. Now, first and foremost, he was clearly not a president of any goddamn thing. Second of all, is 6'4 or 6'5? Or first of all, let me say this. Straight women, I know the bar is in hell for y'all. I'm very aware of that. I, I know the bar is probably under hell at this point. But is 6'4, is that it? The nigga can just be 6'4 and that's enough? Because she is talking about... Uh, Risa Tisha should have known that she was getting played and women women got to date men according to their attraction level. Now, let me explain something. I'm a lesbian. I don't date men, but I have eyes. <laughs> I'm not seeing a man attractive enough to be out here trying to date down. I'm just not seeing that. I am not seeing that at all. And I could be totally wrong. Y'all tell me, am I off? Is, is Legion fine as hell? And I just completely did not see it. I feel like I have eyes. I feel like I know what conventionally attractive looks like did i completely miss that let me know because this is some things i don't know um in addition to that i felt like her saying she's talking about oh yeah black people can't even have conversations because y'all want to get offended when we just tell them the truth and blah 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 when did you tell the truth the truth would have been you saying i think that i am gorgeous i think that i am beautiful i'm on here with my face beat i'm on tiktok wearing all this makeup and intentionally making myself look a certain way which i feel that makes me better than this other woman who has gotten played and i feel like this is another reason why she got played now had you said that they still would have ate you up in the comments like they are but at least you would have been honest because you talking about oh she should have known because she wasn't attractive enough let me explain something we don't need to come up with more reasons why risa got played she admitted that she ignored every single red flag that was there and when i say the flags was red that nigga may as well been wearing a red flag as a suit on a daily basis she didn't care so we don't need to try to come up with additional reasons why she should have known she was being played there are several reasons i feel like this lady may be a pick me and i don't i haven't watched none of her other content i'm just extremely offended first of all no Risa Tisa slander is gonna be tolerated on this timeline she got on here and slandered herself for 50 videos straight we're not doing but also, you're not going to get on here and be like, oh, well, you know, she she, she should have known. She wasn't his type. She's not arm candy. So, 
I'm assuming that you place all your value in the way you look. And if that's worked for you, keep doing it. That's fine. But there are some people in this world that consider other things to be more important than the way a person looks. And once again, all due respect to Teresa Tisa, I'm not saying anything about the way she looks at all. I'm not going to comment on the way she looks. I don't feel the need to. It's not completely not necessary. I don't think there's anything wrong with the way she looks. But we can tell that some people just place their complete value in the way they look. And I mean, maybe society has told these people that the only value they have is within their looks. And that's why people feel the need to you know, go and get their face beat, put on these lashes and, and put in all this, uh, you know, whatever in their hair just to get on TikTok and make a video to try to bring down another woman even further, even though she has gotten on here and been vulnerable enough to expose herself. So to me, the video was just completely and utterly unnecessary. It was completely rude. All of us are making videos about this shit, but this was just rude. And... I stand in support of Risa Tisa. I don't think it's nothing else she could have done. Well, besides not ignoring the red flags, but talking about, oh, she, she should have known that this nigga wasn't attracted to her. You sound crazy. Risa Tisa does not look like the, uh, the arm candy that he would have on him. Ew. You think like that? Are you okay? Like, you mean to tell me I find a guy attractive, he find me attractive, I'm supposed to just sit here and be like, no, nah, let me not pursue this because I don't look like how I should look like for a CEO to be talking to me or for a vice president or a president to be talking to me. That's that's ugly. Like, I'm supposed to not find my chance to love because I don't got the bundles and I ain't got the slim ass waist and I ain't got the I ain't got the Gucci and shit like that to be talking to this CEO. That's an ugly ass message to be sending to people. I think you need to go get checked out or something. Because clearly you didn't see what Legion looked like. But even fuck what Legion looked like. Because he could have found him some love if he wasn't a pathological liar. I just feel like it was so many lessons in her story. And for that to be the lesson that you want to outline and put out there to the public... I don't know. I just feel like everybody deserves love. And I don't give a fuck if you got boils in your face. If you got three stomachs and you knock me, reach for the fucking stars. Because who the fuck gonna tell you that you can't? And I don't like the fact that you low-key just tried to call my girl ugly. Don't do too much. Risa Tisa does not look like the, uh, the arm candy that he would have on. Meanwhile, you got on a bold glamour filter. And sometimes we just need to be quiet. Like... Some people don't need to have an opinion on every single thing. That was like the most unnecessary take on that whole 52 part series. Like, that's all you could think of. Shout out to all the people in these stitches. I love every single stitch. I enjoyed every single stitch. When I came across a video, the very first thing that crossed my mind was that the ones who are the ham candy. Are they still not getting played? Isn't it still the same social media we are all on and seeing these people's stories? Even other people, the ones who we think are the arm candy are still getting played. And this woman, as a woman, look into another woman's eye and say, do you think you are deserving of a six foot four VP beautiful man according to her? I feel like it's the law of the law. Risa was very vulnerable in all of her videos. She admitted that it are wrongs as well. She talked about how the red flags was there and how she did not just pay attention to the red flags that were flashing to her eyes. And this woman is saying you're not deserving of somebody who is beautiful. Like that's literally what she's saying. And I love the stitch that talk about the fact that Adin Bin Risa was a slim, light-skinned, tall girl. This conversation would never be brought up. It's never going to be brought up. And that is the reason why that woman said, this is a superficial conversation. Because with every part of that video, 50 series parts, she even roasted herself in some parts. Like she placed everything on the table. She said it. And there are ex people who have had a thing to do with the said man, even his son online as well, saying that everything Risa is saying is the truth. Maybe this woman literally wants to be the next Risa. Like, for real, for real. Like, why are you going to look at a woman and tell them that they are not deserving of a man? 
why does every single thing have to be about the looks? Because if she's saying that, that means she's admitting to the fact that whatever it is she has to bring is her looks. Like her looks is everything she she cares about because she literally made everything about the looks and not how traumatizing the experience was for Risa. There are even people saying, is it that Legion has actually hired some PR like to make the story look good and you know bring some people to his side as well? Like, are you literally being paid to talk about Legion? Are you being paid to talk about this man like this? Because is it not the same Legion that we have seen on social media? Even when she was saying the hand candy, her tongue was literally passing a signal to her not to say because she was her tongue was twisting. She could not even say it to her because what the hell does being an hand candy have to do with how a man is going to treat you? Even if you are the most skinniest, tall, beautiful, light-skinned woman, if you are still going to be dogged, you will, st you will still be dogged. Like, we, we, we have seen stories. We have had these people. There are so many funny stitches to our video because they are dragging her. If you want to have a laugh of your life, just go check TikTok. This person said she thought she was breaking down some amazing psychological point when in reality she is psychologically challenged herself. Another person said, Sharon seven things like that too. You all better watch out because men do things like that and pick on unattractive women. Another one said, she couldn't even get the words out of her mouth. Exactly. She definitely was clout chasing. And I totally agree. And that was even so disrespectful to Risa. That was so disrespectful to any woman to even say, oh, look at yourself. You're not deserving of someone. Like, come on. That's not fair. Another person said, a lot of people think like they just don't have the stones to admit it. Tons of people were saying that in Risa's comments. That's horrible. Another person said, she's calling someone ugly and using a filter like she's playing matchmaker. Another one said, at this point, they're just trying to get clout off of her because, lady, you made that man the prize and that is insane. And she's literally like trying to praise the man like he's a beautiful boy and you should have known you don't even deserve him to begin with. Like, what? Not knowing fully well that you lied about everything. He will literally be on call from 6.15 a.m. to whenever and there's nobody on the other end of the call because he is a pathological liar. Another person said, don't listen to girls who center boys in their life. Agree. They are pygmies and not grown women, no matter how they look. The last one I have here said, I think Legion scammed the wrong person. This is the woman who needed to marry him because at this point, they belong together. They are both delusional. And I totally agree to that. I feel like her comment was so unnecessary. A look has got nothing to do with how she was treated because nobody even deserved to be treated that way. The man was the one who pursued her, not the other way around. And why are we looking at another woman and talking down on them and telling them that what the society describes to be the good looking men, they don't deserve it. Like, it's not fair. It's giving mean vibes and nah, that's not cool. I would like to hear what you guys think about all of this in the comment section. I know this is a super long video, but it's just so interesting and I love the stitches so much. Thank you all so much for joining. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe before you go and turn your bell notification on. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. And I love you guys.